What's cooking home boys and girls? It's that time again for our monthly battles update. This 4.51 being a moderately sized update. So with it comes quite a few new things. The first of which is yes, a new map, as you can see on the screen right now. It's called Area 52, which is named after the ever so famous Area 69 facility in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So I hope Ninja Kiwi asked Rockstar Games nicely before publishing this. Anyways, me and Tyler will once again be playing a couple of friendly classic matches against each other to test the waters, but unfortunately according to the patch notes, it says this is a club exclusive map. So you won't be seeing this in any classic arena games, only possible in private matches, which is a shame cause I think it would make for a great addition in the arena map queue. From what I can tell this is an intermediate map, with the AI balloons coming in from the side, following the road around the two Area 52 buildings, then taking a turn onto the top road and leaving through the bottom. Meanwhile the player sent balloons take a different route, they start from the bottom but instead of going to the top loop, it takes the lower one and loops twice before exiting through the side. All in all, it makes for a pretty decent map for explosion light towers such as the mortar and the bomb, or for anything that loves to shoot in a circular radius like the ring of fire or any type of ice tower. Thus, ninja farm mortar should do pretty decently on here. On the other side, Tyler is testing the waters with a really weird boat and mortar strategy. He seems to enjoy utilizing the boat on some of these new maps, but I don't really think it will work on something like Area 52 where you can fit two boats at most, lol. Simply not enough water to be worth bringing boat or sub for, but that brings up the question, why even have water on this map in the first place? It's located in the freaking desert for crying out loud, but I guess it isn't too abnormal to put a body of water there cause it's not like deserts are completely devoid of any water, it's kind of similar to the pyramids map in this game. But yeah, that's about it for this new club exclusive map, I won't be talking about anything else gameplay related after this point as I still have to go over the rest of the update. So next on the list is this. Balloon Circles is no longer a club exclusive map and will now appear on lower ranked battle arenas and shit. Okay, I can live with that, all the late game bandons a half watching fanatics can rejoice in happiness while the rest are unaffected by this change. Moving on, I think this next change is probably the biggest one of them all, holding down the balloon send will now spawn balloons infinitely until release. I believe this applies to both mobile and steam, so hell yeah, nobody gets any sort of advantage with this feature, although this makes it a hell of a lot easier to send eco balloons at any stage of the game. Of course, you could always say just to use an auto clicker before having this feature and it would do the same thing for you, but that really only applies to those playing on a PC. I imagine auto clickers on mobile would be a pain in the ass to manage while in the middle of a battles match. So yeah, these changes are looking pretty good so far, but some of you diehard classic arena players might be wondering, where the hell are the balance changes? Well, hate to break it to you but there are none, zero, z to the e to the r to the o. And the reason for no balance changes. Ninja Kiwi says any balance change will break all battles TV recordings from before the update because of how it interacts with the data.jet file, so if you change any numbers and shit, every replay from the previous patch will act as if it's being played on the current patch even though it isn't, so that's going to lead to a bunch of inaccurate games and more dying out of nowhere. It's similar to how, if you mod the game and watch the replay with a normal data.jet file, it'll look completely off from what was actually done in-game. That's not to say Ninja Kiwi won't ever add any future balance changes, but they held off on doing so since it was only a month since the release of Battles TV so they didn't want to purge the replays so quickly. I believe 4.6 will have all that good balance change shit so keep on the lookout for that in about a month or so. While we're on the topic of Battles TV, it got a couple of QOL updates so let's take a look at them. First, something has changed in game, can you tell what it is? 
you sure should be able to cause it's pretty damn visible. In the corner of the opponent's side you can now see how many people are currently spectating your game as well as the amount of likes it has. I guess it's an alright change, but certainly not too necessary, and also completely useless. If you are nobody like 99% of players in this game, no offense but it's kind of true since most people will see double zeros in every game they play. Hell, even for people like me it's going to be zeros in most of the games, with the occasional stalker here and there bringing the count up to one. That's why I say it's not a necessary change, and it might even be intruding or distracting for some people so even more reason for Ninja Kiwi to look into this addition. Outside of the game though, another notable addition is the fact that replays can now be shared, either by doing so at the end of your match or someone that you're spectating. All you have to do is press this big button and a link to your replay should show up, and should I also mention you can send this fancy share button for your clan to see, interesting stuff. Alright, now it's time to show you guys the four new skins coming up in this patch, one of which is already released. It's the UFO Tower skin for the Heli Pilot, where all helicopters are replaced by giant flying saucers, how cool is that? Since I don't have time to sit down and talk about each upgrade for 5 minutes like the other skin showcase videos, I'll just lay them all out for you right now. Basically the colors of each UFO correspond to the colors of the original Heli Pilot Tower, so it shouldn't be too hard to distinguish. Nonetheless, Despite it being a garbage tower, I think it's probably one of the best tower skins, mainly because of the theme really. Ninja Kiwi hit the nail on the spot here. Now we tune back to our scheduled programming, apologies for having the UFO skin only taking up one tenth of the actual video, hashtag clickbait hashtag misleading. There are a couple more balance changes I have to go through before I go, so please listen. You can now watch and advert to double your medallions one in assault or defend mode. Sure, add a seventh safety cushion for new players so they don't lose all their medallions, lol, cause that's basically what it is. And some extra add money too I guess, can't knock them too hard for that. The last set of changes are a bunch of bug fixes, so here they all are on the screen right now. Two of the three are insignificant changes for the most part. But it's great that ramping in battles TV is finally fixed, only a matter of time before they tackled it seeing as pretty much every TV game at the top goes to Epic Light Game. That pretty much wraps it up for 4.5, so I hope you enjoyed this quick rundown of it. As always, I will put up a YouTube poll to see what the general population thinks of this update, was it good or was it bad? If you ask me, I think it's pretty good if you look at every update individually, pretty much everything there was a positive addition to the game, of course it would be better if there were some balance changes, but it's whatever for me, as long as no real ranking system exists I won't care too much about playing to be the best player in Bloons TD battles. I'll leave you off with this last game, which is tighter than an extra extra small continent. Have a top secret day.